Thanks, Sergio. Sergio, as you said, you're right. This is about the students, so I'd like to see what you'd like to ask them about what you've been working on or instinct or anything related to the conversation. Um, I'll have you ask the first question to South Plantation. Thanks. So, so you know, um, so I want to know more about your community. I mean, sometimes, um, so you, you're in the Miami area, I take it? I'm not sure. I mean, I think that um, it sounds like it. And, uh, you know, what, what, what is it about your community? You know, what's like, what do you think, you know, it's, is the school for you guys like a safe haven from the community and things like that? Is it part of the community and you're like, you're wanting it to see be more part of the community and invite people in and be you know like integrated take down the walls essentially and make it more part of your community or do you see it as a place you can go hang out away from parents and things like that and you know your tree house you know where you can be safe and you know hang out and learn things and you know be your your safe space in the world Is, is that is that okay? That's the question. Hi, my name is Josh, and our school is very diverse. It has a lot of different cultures, and school is like a place that you can come learn, hang out, have fun, and then just go home with something that you learn. Thank you. Anybody else? Yeah, um, we also, across the street, we have like a park and everything, and um, places you could walk your dogs and everything, so a lot of people come around here and hang out and do sports, stuff like that, so thank you. You know, um, I have a follow-up question for you guys. If you could imagine your school, would you, could you imagine your school being open at night, a place you would go back to and you know, like use the computers or have a class which, on a specific thing you might be really interested in, which might not be part of the regular curriculum. Do you imagine it being like open more than the regular hours? So like imagine like you had extra sessions at night where you could have classes you really wanted and you could create them, or you could have access to computers and other things. Do like, you imagine it being more like open-ended, the school? Hi, I'm Alexis, and we have a horticulture building in our school, and it's like with all the animals and different plants and stuff, so a lot of kids have that class, and like my friends, and they say they enjoy it, so I think if we had our school open at night, a lot of kids would want to do that, like go and like learn about the animals if they don't have that class, if they don't take that course. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, is there another student who wants to speak? How about someone in the... Oh, thanks. Go ahead. Um, hi, I'm Legend. Um, I'm in um, technology, so a lot of stuff that I do, um, I need to... Uh, the classes, it's only 50 minutes. So sometimes what I'm doing is not... The, the time is not enough for me to finish my work. So. Uh, after school, we can go back into that classroom and we can work, continue working on what we were doing before, you know. So it's very diverse. Also, our school is very diverse itself that it has many programs open to everyone who has, who's um, interested in different careers. That's one thing I really like about our school. And we have everyone coming here from all over different districts, I mean, different, um, and nearby. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Very well said. Uh, Sergio, uh, would you like to ask the same question for Westmount Charter, or do you have a different question? Thanks. No, that would be great. I would like to hear their response to this. And then I have a follow-up question, which I want to ask both. Does anyone want to respond? Um, school and instructor and uh, how school is Sure. Yeah. Well, what? Hi. I can do it. Sure, go ahead, Sarah. Um, hi, I'm Sarah, and one thing about our school and how it relates to the community is that um, we're a charter school, so we're not really a public high school. So basically, anyone from all over the city, and it's quite a large city, 
can come to our school. So even though we live, like I have friends that live um, like an hour's drive away from me, but yet we still kind of can come together. And I think that that makes a very interesting environment. But I also think that that would be difficult to kind of do things like you were saying after school and stuff because we are um, from all over the place. Thank you. <laughs> So, okay. So I was gonna. Um, so I was just gonna. Since it's, you're beginning this process, I don't know where you are in this process, but I imagine you're beginning to think. You know, how do we design this? You know, it's where does it come from? And I was just wondering if, if how many of you had or, you know, what does do you have strong already visions of what you want to see? You know, do you want to see? I mean, I'm looking actually into your classrooms. I. You have this totally different view of each classroom, and I'm seeing, I think, a window in Cal in the Calgary School in the back and sunny. And the other school, I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing no windows. So I'm beginning to imagine, you know, how your experience is different, and what visions do you have already of what this classroom would be like? You know, would it have would it have sunlight? Would you want to have, you know, one kind of space? Would there be places to retreat within the classroom? You know, what what you know, what are the strong ideas that are beginning to emerge about your instincts, about what you think would make this great? I mean, I know you were asked this originally, but I, you, you, your answer seemed a little like, you know, we're just starting the conversation and not quite sure yet. So, so I'm wondering, now that we're warmed up, what are your instincts? What is everything you'd want? I mean, don't worry about the practicality. What is everything you would want in your, in your idealized classroom. Now you guys are designers. Let's start with South Plantation. Thanks. Um, for, for, for Miami, I wouldn't really like have a lot of windows because, you know, if the humidity will get inside, I'll probably have like emergency windows just in case. So I'll probably like be closed like this with AC. And like, no, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, for some classes, I, um, I'm Alex, by the way. Um, I think that we should like put bathrooms nearby, maybe, uh, maybe in the classroom or like uh, close to it. So, um, like, emergencies don't happen or anything, um, any problems, you know. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Charles Smith again? Um, I kind of also agree with Alex because where we have our portables, we have about, I want to say, 16 to 20 portables. And, like you said, they're far from the school, so we don't have the ability to, like, the bathroom, which is kind of far away and things like that and also uh since we have portables we kind of know about them a little more and they're they're actually really small so you can't really do too many things because once you put the desks in and the books it's that's about all the room that you have thank you yeah. 